that button, hit that button, hit that button, hit that button. Woo! Hey guys! It's me, Callie here. Good Lord, help me, Jesus. My hat is so catty rumpus right now. Oh, oh there it goes. Hey guys, sorry, we are in the car. And I'm waiting on Chase to come move his car so I can get out of the driveway. But we wanted to hop on and tell you why we have not already went live. We came... Um, okay, you, David, us today? Yes. We came over to Amanda's house today after Callie got done um, with school. And she wanted me to help her with the little project she was doing. And so um, we have been over here and she cooked supper for us. So... Um, we have been here and we're leaving and so Callie's probably gonna hold the phone and talk to y'all while I drive oh, yes. but right now um, I'm waiting on Brie and Chase to come out with the um, girls to um, move I'm their car so I can get out I'm proud of my little nail right here it grew back a little yeah it did didn't it yeah. hello everyone it's been like a month since I broke it Hey, Miss Pam. Yeah. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Amy. It's starting to flourish back. Oh. Yes, girls. You hear my little kid, little grand. I'm on a live. Everybody said hey. Oh, no. Oh, that's the wrong. <laughs> Y'all. Lordy. I was. Do, I thought my window wasn't going to come up, but it's the same. The same. Oh, thank you. Forgot my shoes. Amanda gave me a pair of shoes. She's Forgot. She uh, get rid of it. I know shoes. it. Y'all, I'm so sorry. I am. Um, Why did you get me some? I thought my window wasn't going to go up, and it was the, um, the, um, went, uh, I was pushing the wrong button. Yes, guys, we're guilty of pushing the wrong button. Yes. Sometimes. Oh, my gosh, Kayla. Bless your heart again. Thank you, Miss Becky. I am. I'm sitting in the... Uh, Y'all, I am. Oh, ow, absolutely ow. praying for him. Just got um. Oh, my gosh. Yes, there was. It was upside down. Oh, my goodness. There was one. My goodness. Okay, so we are at Amanda's house, and I'm sitting in the driveway, and Callie's in the back seat. And um, we are leaving her ha house. Amy, I am so sorry. Oh, my gosh. My heart just breaks for all of y'all. I can't even imagine. Um, I cannot imagine. I mean, I'm. it just breaks my heart for y'all. Um, we are sitting, um, in the driveway. Amanda today called me and asked me after Callie's school if I could come and help her with a little project that she needed to get done. And I told her, yeah. So well, I came over and, um, I do. Um, I love to, um, I love to organize and to, um, like clean and organize and, um, and Amanda has a room upstairs. And Miss Pam, nothing's wrong. Um, Amanda has a room upstairs that um, she's always wanted to turn into her shoe room. And um, I don't, probably a lot of y'all don't know that when Amanda and them bought this house, um, she was in a very bad car accident. And um, they, um, she always wanted to, she's always loved shoes. And she wanted to turn this room into a shoe room. And so, um, she, um, had got her some shelves. I know. Had got her some shelves. And, um, she had used this room for like a catch-all room like I do at my house a lot of times. I use the steps and different things for a catch-all. And so, she wanted to get it all cleaned out and get it organized and use the closet as a, as a like for her, um, um, paper towels and, and toilet paper and that type of stuff. And so, um, um, anyway, so I helped her get all the stuff out of the room and then we, um, and she's going to put a desk in there also. So it's going to be like her shoe room and her desk or her office. 
And so I just love doing that. And, um, and so I came over to help her do that today and she cooked a supper. So, um, we are sitting in the car waiting on Chase and Brianna to move so you that, guys, um, I'm so surprised that my nose has not been gushing blood today. I know. Yes, we are, Kim. I've ate a lot today and it's all been clear. So I'm happy. Yeah. Callie's been having some, um, I've been having some blood and nose issues. Yeah, she's been having some for bloody the past noses. Few months, but no, it's, I don't Miss do Becky, it's I love to do that. Yes, it's better. I'm sorry, I keep cutting. Uh, I did cut you off on that. Sorry, Callie. I'm no, so, okay. so so. You're good. I cut you off too. Um, um, I love to clean. I love to organize. My house is not organized by no means, but I love to do it. I love to go through and organize and clean and declutter and and all that. I love it. It just it's just something satisfying to me. And I love to do it in other people's houses. I need to do a lot in mine. Does anybody like their house to be cluttered? There's some people I mean, that like some people like that. Some people, you know, I they I they just, function better when it's like that. Yeah, I'm both. Because my closet is so small that it's cluttered so i'm used to it but, oh mary i'm praying for your granddaughter but now we've kind of took everything off start from scratch oh Gosh, my sorry guys this coat gives me hiccups because of the bubble absolutely vicky absolutely i would love to so you guys we're gonna be talking about Thank you, Belinda. Thank you so much. Can you guys see this hat? Okay, this is not an ordinary hat. This is an extraordinary hat, okay? An extraordinary hat. My brother got me this last year at one of the Flower Branch games we went to. Me and my niece has a matching one. So when I go to the game on Friday, I have the at FB baseball cap, mm -hmm. but I can't find it right now. It's not lost. It's somewhere up underneath all the stuff in my closet because, again, it's so tiny, but I love my closet. But anyways, this is one of the hats that I had received last year, so it's still holding up pretty good. It's still Yes. Fancy. Um, the so. thing on Callie's seatbelt says Callie True Love Williams Syndrome and Heart Defects. Um, and it's just a little thing that goes on her seatbelt that lets, if we was to have a, a car accident, um, and, we, and, and, uh, and, and, uh, if one of my parents passed away or they become, or they become, became non-responsive, then the people would then the paramedics would be able to just look at this and know that and, you have yes and know that I have a disorder and I would probably be able to tell them yes she's it's just a like a medical alert type thing um hey Misha hey Misha hey girl hey uh. Bonnie said she's ready to throw him out, her husband out with the stuff. Oh my gosh. You're ready to throw your husband out the door with the, with the stuff? Yes. Um, you guys, what do you guys think? Because I know, I know it's easier for married couples to get along when they have to work and stuff like that. Don't you? When they have to work? When they have to work, because I guess they have to kind of miss each other and stuff. <laughs> I guess when so. when they're together for, I guess. Uh, for a long amount of time, I guess it makes it more difficult. I don't know. What, when, you're, when you're together, uh, uh, when together you're all together the time. all the time. I guess so. You're right. I guess so. Is that true? I guess. I don't know. I've never been married before, so I you need to. Know. You need to ask your daddy that. You need to ask <laughs> your daddy, does he, do we get along better whenever he is um, <laughs> gone to work or when he stays at home what a lot? What do you guys think? Do you guys, do you guys feel that way about your spouse? I mean, it hasn't got annoying with me being 
with Dolly and my parents the whole time because that was my life before this COVID happened. Mm -hmm. So I'm used to being with my family 24 seven. So, um, yeah, but do you guys find it that way? Do you think you, that you get along better? Callie wants to know, do you think you get along better whenever you, um, whenever you and your husband work and then you come home and then you're happy to see each other or do you, or, um, do you think you get along better when you stay at home all the time? Like when we, while we are, um, in the quarantine, do you, or in the pandemic, have you got along better being at home together or, um, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know. Everyone what. needs their personal space. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what showed that. That just came up in my mind. Uh, it's very important to have me time, Miss Wendy said. There you go. So, um, will I'm going to... Will you what? throw me out with him? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not throwing you nowhere, girl. Just throw me in the bathtub with some my steamy hot water. Yes, Lord. She wants to, um, Cal gone, take me away. Okay, so I'm going to hand the ki to the phone to Wait, Callie. Is that what it's called? Yes. I want a cow going to take me away um, a little bad. <laughs> oh, Bertha, you're so sweet. Um, I'm going to give um, Callie the phone. So she's going to hold the phone. And remember, she can read some, but she can't read um, all the comments and she it takes her a while to read them so they may go by too fast for her to read them so I'll just some of the use my finger to go back go back to the one okay that I missed okay so I um read it. okay perfect all right so i'm going to hand the phone to her and i'm going to be driving so um Are we'll take it off the charger uh huh um okay so here's Callie, and she will um she will be hey guys tonight. You guys, I have never been married before, which is why I ask that. Because being older, I'm gonna be old enough to get married soon. So I was, so uh, I was just wondering. <laughs> so, uh, what are you guys' plans for the rest of the night? My night, the rest of the plans for my night is to g finish this lab and then go to sleep because it is the the tomorrow's the day before the game, so I have to wake up super early tomorrow, start school, Whoa. and then I have to get back, and then I have to. Well, tomorrow I'll probably take a nap in the afternoon before. Yes. And rest a little while. Mm hmm Oh. Do you know that we're supposed to get rain all day tomorrow, but there's a lot of people getting another round of snow oh. and ice. Oh, because no. then you'd be covered from head to toe. I've always wanted to go to a place to where you have to wear snowshoes. Oh, my goodness. I have always wanted to go somewhere. That is so horrible. So, you guys, it has been quite the day over here at the True Love, at the um, True Love. Uh, it was quite the day yeah. household. Yes. <laughs> the True Love's <laughs> met up with the Bices, and then the Bices met up with the Stones, and then we're going to meet with the Brents tomorrow, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I'm so sorry I did not do that spaghetti challenge that I was supposed to do tonight, but I had fun over at my sister's house. It was so much we'll fun. We'll try to do the um, spaghetti challenge tomorrow. Yes. Right. I'll lay out the stuff to make spaghetti tomorrow, and we'll do the spaghetti challenge. And tell them your sister has agreed to do the challenge with you. Yes, Bree has agreed to do 
the challenge with me. So, you guys, it'll kind of be like the whipped cream challenge, except we, our faces are going to get dirty a lot more in this challenge. So, you guys are going to see some ketchup, some um, ranch. It just depends. Oh, what am I doing? I have no idea what you're doing. Oh, Lord, I'm going the wrong way. What in the world? I'm used to turning here, but I came the, the other way. Okay. It's, uh, right. It was 11 degrees in Texas. Oh, oh gosh. What? Well, bag. I thought it was an animal. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Gracious. Please let us know if you guys would like us to do another 24 hour like stay on live challenge with you guys because I'm down are you 24 hours yeah like to when you first wake up in the morning to like the next morning you do the thing all day no matter what it is whether you do challenges all day whether you do the try not to laugh challenge which is going to be uh difficult for me but they sure can i'll keep the humor going on that long i'll have them i'll ha I'll, I'll have them not wanting to Make go to bed <laughs> so you guys i'm wearing a, a white shirt which is why i have my fb hat on today because it matches my my shirt so this shirt has a golden doodle puppy that looks just like Dolly. It's so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much for telling me that I am so beautiful. <laughs> so you guys, today, <laughs> I feel beautiful. Thank you so much. So um, like I was saying, anyways, today, today in school, we learned about um oh dear lord you guys this is what happens every time when you have class for four hours straight you well, guys to talk about what you did the last I, class. I can't even remember what I did this morning oh yeah so you guys we did a social studies but we didn't get to get through all of our social studies lessons today because we had to log into a new Clipper. I don't know. It's, it's, and you did scenarios. And I did scenarios today. You, um, so, a scenario is basically where it's fake, but it could happen in real life. So, that is what we practice today is making doctor's appointments, calling 911. If you see somebody alone, go up and approach them and ask them. If you can be their friend, or how can you help them, or and stuff like that. So that's what we did today. So um, and then I think tomorrow we we're gonna learn a little bit more about Black History Month tomorrow. I think I don't know how I don't know how switching works. So um, Friday. So Friday. Oh my gosh. So, you guys, Friday is my good day because guess what? I have no live classes. I still have recordings. But, you guys, the recordings, you can take breaks. In. <laughs> I'm so excited, you guys. Like, four hours straight, you're having to go in clever jigsaw, whatever it is. And then you got to look back in jigsaw at the screen and near pod jigsaw. So when you do that for four hours straight and your teacher tells you, oh my gosh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Why am I getting so emotional about it? But then when your teacher tells you the most, um, the great, the, the good news, oh, in my heart, I was like, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. But I didn't want to say it over the microphone. So I was like, oh, okay. So, um, yes, I am so excited about Friday, and then on top of that, we're going to the Flower Branch game. So, what? A, what? A, so, so excited. I just can't hide it. Something, something. I don't know. <laughs> 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 
you guys, I'm about to do all that, what, what she said. <laughs> you guys, I'm really, really feeling good about this um, Friday because there's a lot of good things happening to us on Friday. Let's pray that the weather is in our favor because it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. But you know what? They still play in the rain. If it's just... Yeah, it, we've been to the games and it pouring rain. So I don't think they'll cancel it if it rains. But, um, yeah, so that's what's happening on Friday. We're, we're getting... We're, we're gonna have such a blessed Friday. I'm blessed every day. And I'm so excited about tomorrow because I have no, uh, because I'm gonna get my live classes done and then I'm gonna get my recordings done. And then I'm gonna take a nap and then I'm gonna go to the Flyer Branch games and then I'm gonna go home and have sweet dreams Friday night. <laughs> Who knows? Guys, I had some more funny hot dogs, so who knows what I'm going to dream about tonight. Last night, I had a dream that I stayed with my dad, and I did not get my home, um, get those recordings done, and I missed the game. So, I told mom, whatever she did, do not leave me with dad because on Friday because I won't get the work done, which, which I'm afraid. I, it, it might really happen so uh, that's why we're gonna if mom goes anywhere I'm going with her <laughs> because I want to go to the games really bad so I'm gonna make it a priority to go with mom wherever she goes even if I have to do the recordings in the car so <laughs> you guys you guys I am getting so so excited. Yo. <laughs> uh, sorry, you guys. The phone slipped out of my hand for a second. <laughs> you it? No, it went. <laughs> it turned around on itself. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, virtual whiplash. Virtual whiplash. You guys, I am excited because I just can't hide it. Yes. You, so, you want to sing them a song? Oh, yes. You guys, what would you guys like for me to sing? I feel so good. I feel so good today. Are you going to, are you going to eat hot dogs at the game? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm so, I'm so excited. Oh, and you guys, usually I do not like grilled hot dogs, but these I like for some reason. I don't know why, but oh, I just love them. Maybe they bowl them first and then grill them, or maybe they bowl them till they get grill marks on them and then take them out. I don't know, but they're so soft and juicy. Man. Told you what song they want you to sing? <laughs> so, you guys, thank you so much, you guys. <laughs> Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, she says, loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me.
Sorry, I guys, I'm I'm trying. Uh, Uh-uh, your seat is in the way. Oh, okay, wait just a second, and then it'll, we'll turn it around. Or, here's, when I turn right here, you'll be able to see Here's it. Dolly, if you guys are wondering where she is. Guys, say we're tired, but uh, here it is. Here's the Kroger's. There's the Kroger's. Daddy. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Daddy likes to grocery shop and Callie is his little sidekick. Yes. And yes, that's so true. Somebody said for some reason the hot dogs are better at the baseball part. Enjoy the baseball the baseball game on Friday. Thank oh, you. Good job, Callie. Good reading. I agree. For some reason, it is good at a baseball park. To the ball game. Take me out to the ball. Game. Take me out to the ball. I don't know if that's true. Uh, I, <laughs> St. Cracker Jacks. I don't care if I ever come back. It's way root root for the home team. Yes, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is my go to Mexican restaurant. Right there, El Magway. You guys, if you guys. If you guys love, like, love refried beans already in your chimichanga. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Yum, yum. yum. I'm going to have to start getting two chimichangas from there. One chicken, one beef. And then mix all the meats together. Yes. So, you guys, I did not eat my diet tonight. I cheated and had me a hot dog. Hot dog. A, a slow dog. dog. Yeah. Joey, you had a slow Joey, dog. for you, I had a slow hot dog. Slow dog. Slow dog. Yeah, they call, y'all call them slow dogs. Well, we call them slow <laughs> dogs. Slow <laughs> dogs. You will have your boys and hot dogs. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So, uh. Let's see here. It's dark outside. I'm on live tonight. It's such a beautiful night. We're having a really good time on the live. Hey! <laughs> We're having such a good time on our live. It's such amazing. It'll uh, make your ears ring. <laughs> I love hot dogs and I love baseball. I even love to swing the bat. That's a fact. <laughs> uh, 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 have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about our troubles. Hear our faith is cry. Answer by and by. Feel a little prayer will turn in. You'll know a little fire is burning. You will have a little talk with Jesus. <laughs> have a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Fine. You said have a little talk with Jesus makes it right. 
you'll find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. <laughs> Mom's been talking to him. You guys, have you ever, ever, ever been to a Braves game? A baseball Braves game. Yes, I have. I also like them too. Yeah, we did go to a Braves baseball game. You're right. Yeah, with sunshine on a rainy day. Daddy is at home asleep. Well, no, he's not asleep. He's just in his car. He left before we did. Yes. So he he's um, probably just going in the house. And we're almost home now. We're fixing to turn in our room. I need to sing for the baseball players. Oh. Yeah, you did sing. You sung with the baseball players. I sung with them. Can you One year. But I'll sing. Oh, crazy, she can't help but amaze me, the way that she dances, ain't afraid to take chances, and wears her heart on her sleeve, yeah, she's crazy, but her crazy is beautiful to me, so you guys, I sung with them, but if you guys want me to sing for them, then I will. Ask them what you should sing. What should I sing to them? Brandon and Chase beat us, huh? Well, yeah, they did. You want to go check on Granny and Papa right through the neighborhood? Well, we can. Ooh, I better watch out, Mathia. You better watch Ooh. out. You better turn your floodlights on. You better not hit the deer. I'm telling you why. <laughs> They come every year to my grandpa's house. Oh. <laughs> so, um. Tell them here's your granny and papa's house. Here's na- nanny and pa- granny and papa's house. I can't see it. It's dark. Black as night. Somebody said, yes, I should sing to them. Okay. What song... Do you want me to sing? Um, uh, have you ever heard the song? Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confident And if you threw a party Invited everyone you knew You would see The greatest gift would be for me And a heart attack would say Thank you for being a friend Yes Oh, that's good, Callie <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're gonna make me cry. Someone said I'm their sunshine. Oh. Uh, oh, yes. Thank you. Okie dokie, we are pulling in. You guys, I don't know what song I should sing to a baseball Stancil team. Stancil Row. Oh, somebody said, take me out to the ball game. Game. Take me up to the. I don't know if that's the word. No, <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I'm not sure the word. We wrong. we don't know. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is that I'll be playing it tomorrow, and I'll try to figure it out. Excuse me. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> I just started just talking, and then it came out. It just rolled right out, didn't it? Yeah, it was stuck in there, you guys. Oh, my goodness. From on the way home. Rolled right on out. Rolling. Rolling. Rolling on the river. Oh, my goodness. Left a good job in the city. <laughs> hey, working for the man every night and day. 
And I never lost my minute of sleep and worrying about the way the things might have been. Cause big wheels keep on turning. <laughs> Proud Mary keep on burning. Oh, and we're rolling. Rolling. Rolling, rolling yeah. Rolling. rolling on the river. Yeah. You want me to, she's not going to let me get her out. So let me. Oh, <laughs> but now rolling. Woo, rolling. Hey, rolling on the river. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> what kind of woo? She's crazy. I'm going to hit you with the woo. Sing over the rainbow. Come on. <laughs> you gotta undo your seat. <laughs> Bless it. She y'all my hair sticking straight up. She is uh trying to sing and get out of the car with her seatbelt on. Lord have mercy. We are two. Oh gosh, and I about and Dolly won't let me get her out of the car. She has to Callie has to get her out of the car. Okay. Daddy's gonna take Dolly to potty. And we're going to get our stuff out of the car, and then we'll go in here and do our daily dose. Uh, Brady Bunch theme song, Callie. Okay. All right, guys. Here you go. You want to hold? Can you, can you be careful walking and talking on that? Hello. Uh, Sing that um, Sunshiny Day song. I think I'll go for a walk outside now. The summer sun's calling my name. I hear you now, I just can't stay inside all day. I gotta get out, give me some of those days. Everybody singing a sunshine day. Everybody sings so happy today. It's a sunshine day. It's a story of a neighbor. Of a lovely lady. Three very lovely girls, all of them had half gold, like their mother, the youngest one in curls. It's a story of a man named Brady, who was busy with three boys of his own. They were born and living all together, but they were all alone. Till the one day when the lady met this fellow papa And they knew that it was much more than a hunch Then this group must somehow form a family That's, That's the way we all became the Brady Bunch The Brady Bunch The Brady Bunch That's the way we became the Brady more that, more like True Love Bunch. <laughs> <laughs> the True Love Bunch. Hey, yeah. The True Love Bunch. Mm -hmm. The Bunch. The True Love Bunch. Oh. Ha-ha. Ha-ha. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Today, we're going to be talking about True Love, the film. <laughs> Which is starring me, yours truly, Callie oh, True Love, Lord. Mama True Love, Daddy True Love, Doodle True Love, and Dolly True Love. So, you guys, let me just assist my mother over here. Oh, hey, Dolly. Dolly, don't you do it. Uh -oh. Go get that wood out of her mouth. All right, guys, we are home. We, Landy, we just went to, um, today, hang on, let me get my phone in this thing. Hold on. Um, Keith, Rose said hi. Uh, Rose. So, today we were at, um, or today Amanda called me and asked me if, um, if I would come and help her with a little project that she wanted to do, that she's been wanting to do for a long time. Okay, and, um, and I told her, yeah. So, after Kelly's school, we went to her house and um, um, I started to leave, and she said, well, just let me cook supper for y'all. Brianna had came over, too. 
And um, she said, let me just cook y'all supper. So she cooked supper for us. And um, so we, um, Keith came over after he came home and, um, and Chase came over and then um, we ate supper and then um, we left there. So that's where we came from, was from Amanda's house. Um, yes, Taylor. Okay, um, Keith, Callie. Taylor wants you to sing just a sling, and you can let her go. Okay. She, I think she just going to get on. Wait a minute. That, I think that wood is in her bed somewhere. Uh, uh nah. I don't think so. Okay. Do Oopsie. Oops. Dolly. There we go. I'll um, she's it. got her bed. I mean, her, um, her toy. Okay. okay. Do you want to sing just a sling? Uh, Taylor wants you to sing just a sling, and... Okay, let's fix this right here real okay. quick. Okay, go ahead. There's a little girl... In our neighborhood, her name is Charlotte Johnson, and she's really looking good. I had to go and see her, so I caught her on the phone, walked over to her house, and this was going on. Her brother was on the sofa, eating chocolate pie. Her mother was in the kitchen, cutting chicken up to fry. Her dad was in the backyard pulling up a garden hose. I was on the porch with Charlotte heating up down to my toes. Just a swinging. Swinging. Yeah, just a swinging. Swinging. He said that Charlotte, she's as pretty as them angels when they say. Just can't believe it's Charlotte on the front. Punch in the swing, just a swing it. Now Charlotte, she's a darling. She's the apple of his eye. When he's on the swing with her, it makes him almost high. Hey, Charlotte is his lover, and she has been since spring. You just can't believe it's Charlotte on the front porch in the swing, just a swing it. Swinging. Yeah, they were swinging. Swinging. He said they'll show the shits as my ass and make jewels when they sing. You just can't believe it's shorted on the front porch in the swing. Just to swing in. Good job. Woo! Just a swinging. <laughs> just a swinging. Ow. Okay, so while she's going to um, Miss Debbie, Amanda made um, hamburger oh, steaks with um, onions and mushrooms with Swiss cheese on top and a huge salad that had um, mandarin oranges and strawberries and almonds um, and bacon on the salad, slaw and hot dogs, french fries and tater tots. So, yes. Yes. Um, Keith, what kind of socks Tater you got on, baby? Tots. His hog socks. Um, oh, that's right. He wore his hog socks today, his pig socks. I'm oh, yep. sorry, I wasn't supposed to tell him I was. Him last night without being on, so. Oh, okay. There's Daddy's socks. He's got his piggies on. Wow. Got those pig socks on. I love those. Those are probably my favorite socks, the piggies. I like the big uh, socks. How did we pick Callie's name out? out? Cat, Keith? Yeah. Do you know how we picked Callie's name out? Um. Sounds delicious, it was. Yep, Daddy picked them. Daddy picked most of our girls' names out. I, all of them, I guess. Was California a thing back then? Was California a thing back then? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Cali I didn't know. Yes, Miss Vicky. What any day. It? Any what? day now. What you is, will get them. What is my name named after? Somebody in our family's name? Absolutely, or Wendy. Huh? Oh, Delaney, you on here, Dee Dee? So what's my name? Who's my name? Oh, there is Dee. Who's my name after? Huh? Oh, Bertha, bless your heart. Huh? Who was your name after? Yeah. Daddy just named you. Um. Amanda's named after me. 
Brianna was, um, Daddy just came up with her name. Uh, Delaney was named after Mama Jessie. And then you, Daddy, just came up with your name. My um, name is California Dreaming Cali True the. That's what everybody in California yep. knows me as. California Dream. And that funny daddy did not know that you was going to go to California one day to Cali. And your name is Cali. I know. Isn't it, that amazing? Yeah. The way that they spell Cali is C A L I. I, right. right? Uh huh. Yeah. I guess you could call me Catcher. Cal Keith, how's your daddy today? He's doing a little better. Doing better. Doing better. So every day is getting better. Absolutely, Miss Debbie. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yes. Joey, if you're on here, I had a saw dog. Um. It was delicious. Yes, Callie had a slaw dog after talking about the slaw dogs last night. Um. Okay, so I'm going to try to, um, I'm going to do the daily dose because we've already been on here for a while and I'm sorry we were late getting on here because, um, we were there, we were eating and, um, Dolly. And so, um, <laughs> California, yep. <laughs> California. All right, so tonight's daily dose of true love. Thank you. What's that song about? Delaney's name is Delaney, Nebraska. She's named after Nebraska was uh, Keith's grandmother's name. That is so cute. Um, <laughs> Jesse, you can message me on mine. It's Tabitha True Love. You can message me on mine. Um, you know what just happened? She just slung that all the way across the back of the couch. She did. <laughs> Can you sing It's a Small World After All? It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. What, it's it a small world after all. It's a small world. Small world. Um. I'm, I'm Robert, I am. I, my heart, I was talking to um, one of... Uh, my friends before we got on here and they were talking about that um, there was uh, people that they had no power. That means if they don't have a fireplace, they have no heat. They have uh, water pipes bursting all in their house and it just, um, it's just, it's sad. It's just, it just breaks my heart. So our weather is today, it's been very cold um, but it's not like bad cold, not like really bad, bad cold. It's like in the forties. Um, and then tomorrow is supposed to start raining again. And so I guess where y'all are getting all the snow and ice, we're getting rain. Um, cause it's been raining here and then it stopped for a couple of, let's see, one day or two days, two days, I guess. And then, um, it started raining again, it's starting rain tonight in the middle of the night. So, um. Uh, Lord, I love Dolly with all my heart. <laughs> she does not have socks on. She has her tennis shoes on with no socks. You know it. Ma. Okay, thank you. I'll I I'll look at it. Dog so much. Yes, I'm in Texas. My oh goodness, Gloria, bless your heart. Um, You're doing it, Dolly. You're making me. I didn't see somebody was supposed to be sending me a bible verse and i don't see it yet have you posted it yet see and i bet um i was going to try to do that before i um um no i don't see it post it or i don't see it on here um Callie's whole name is Callie Madison True Love. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jesse, bless your heart. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do daily dose. And I was waiting on, um, was it Diane or Debbie said that they were going to give me a Bible verse and I haven't seen it. I was trying to wait till I seen it, but I don't see it. 
posted yet. And it may be because it's they're filtering the comments and they didn't. Um, oh, Irene, I know, I know. I'm so sorry. I'm just sitting here watching it on um, on the Weather Channel. It says historic winter invasion. Um, they're talking about in Tennessee, winter storm warning for most of Tennessee. Um, and it's just everywhere. It's just snow and ice everywhere. It just breaks my heart. My goodness gracious. Um, okay, so I'm going to read this. It's um, from Romans 15, 13. And, um, okay, Amy, can I see, I didn't see it posted. Can you, can you tell me? What she wrote, um, Amy, can you tell me the Bible verse that Miss Debbie put? Because I told her, yes, I would, um, um, okay. All right, so in... Romans fifteen thirteen it says, Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Hebrews thirteen six. Okay, let me write that down really quick. Miss I, I Miss Debbie was the first one to say I'll give you a Bible verse. So Hebrews Hebrews thirteen six. six. Sorry, Mom. There we go. Okay. Thank y'all for helping me. Thank you, Miss Debbie. I see it now. I see it. Okay. So that's um okay, so that's her heart for tonight. And I'm gonna read this that I just read Romans six fifteen thirteen. And today's de uh, devotion is called Joy and Peace. Um it says we tend to confuse joy with happiness. In fact, they're two very different things. Happiness is based on circumstances, things that are going on around us. You know, when our circumstances change and things, circumstances are not going very well, then we tend to be sad. But when things are going all good and, and, and everything's happy and everything's going good around us and, and we don't have any, you know, bad things going on in our life, then, you know, we tend to be happy. But uh, when those bad things come in our, in our life and those trials and troubles and things start coming around, then we lose that happiness. It says when things get tough, happiness flees. Joy isn't based on what's happening. It comes from knowing that God is in control. And peace Peace is being restful when you are in the middle of a struggle. And what it's saying is, is true happiness, true joy comes from the Lord. And what, no matter what circumstances we, this was a little bit of, of the same thing we talked about last night. The, no matter what is going on in your life, whatever, you know, if, if, if it is, you know, you're on a mountaintop and you're, you know, everything's going good, or if you're in a valley and, you know, you're, you're going through a storm or a struggle, that you still can have happiness, you still can have joy, and you can have peace, because knowing that the Lord is in control. It says, if we pray for a spirit of joy and peace and put our hope in God, he promises us joy and peace. So even though that, you know, like I said, even though, though things are going, you know, just seems like everything's going wrong or we're going through a trial or, you know, whether it be finances or men, uh, physical or, or mental or, you know, whatever, whatever it is that we're going through, you know, we can find joy and peace through that. And it's knowing that God is in control of whatever it is that we're going through and knowing that he's going to help us go through that and give us strength to go through that. And it says, the Lord wants to fill us up to the point of overflowing with his love. Out of the love comes true joy, peace, and hope. Well, Dolly, you okay? So let's read that again. It says, the Lord wants to fill us up to the point of overflowing with his love. And out of that love comes true joy, true peace, and true hope. Wait a second, Mom. Amen. Yes. What is it? There's a heart on Dolly's toy. 
There's a heart. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Callie said there's a heart on Cal on Dolly's toy where she slobbered on it. Oh, she's she's been cooped up. I don't yeah, let her go. She's been she's been laying and she wants to play for a little while. So True joy and true peace. There's nothing like it. And even though no matter what circumstances comes our way, no matter what happens, we can still have true joy and true happiness and true peace. Um, oh, Miss Becky, bless your heart, y'all. Felicia Callie had a good day. She has had school, and then she went, and uh, we went to Amanda's house and had dinner. What's that? Oh, goodness. Um, that's just awful. Goodness, that's that house that says they have no power and it says it's 42 degrees. Goodness gracious. Um, I'm, we're sitting here watching the news, um, um, and where it's all the snow and the ice and stuff. It just breaks my heart. Um, thank you, Rose. Absolutely. We will be praying for you. Let's see. Um, you know what they say, right? Don't eat the yellow snow. Don't eat the... <laughs> Callie. Oh, Lordy. Don't eat the yellow snow. Uh, Felicia, no. Did you send it to us on... We must have hope, Miss Pam. That's exactly right. Actually, I think I saw a heart-shaped pizza today. You did? Maybe you did. Maybe you saw her post. Yes, Miss Michelle, well, I will. I saw it. On, it's not. It's on the post where you had that picture of me and Dolly. There's a heart shaped pizza. Oh, okay. That's, that's it. it. That yeah. is it. Then yes. We have seen it. Yeah. Oh, bless those people's heart. It just breaks my heart. It just is. Uh. Let's see. Okay, so. Um, Miss Michelle wants us to sing the anchor holes. Can you help me sing um, the the chorus? Mm -hmm. And the anchor holes, though the ship is battered, the anchor holes, though the sails are Torn. I have fallen on my knees as I face the raging sea and the anchor holes in spite of the storm. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. That's exactly right. That anchor, anchor down with the Lord, and he'll hold you through any storm that you go through. Um, and I'm so <laughs> thankful he's He's anchored me many, many, many times. Um, yes, absolutely, Miss Pam. Praying for Texas. Oh, my goodness. Uh, thank you, Deanna. Absolutely, Angie. We most certainly will be praying for her and your grandkids. Um, no, Miss Michelle, you didn't. I was I was saying, yes, I will sing the song. Um, and the song, that last verse, it um, talks about um, it was in the night through the storms of my life that that's where God's proved his love to me. And that is so true. I remember, um, you know, just... Um, in those dark times and those storms, um, in the storm and in those dark times, whenever, um, we first found out Callie was, was, um, sick and then, you know, other storms in my life. And it was in those dark times that God just proved how much he did love me and, um, and how, just how mighty he was or is. And so, um, it's just amazing to me how, I fail him and I disappoint him and, you know, I just, I, I fail him so bad every day, but he still loves me. And, and, and I still go back to last year. Then that funny that we can say that now that last year's devotion where it said that, um, 
God knows me. He knows everything about me. You know, I can sit here and I can say things and and make my life out to be something that it's not. I can I can be, you know, and and I've I've tried to tell Callie, you know, people can can um can act like they're nice and they can act like that they, they love you and and you know have your uh, best interests at heart and you know and and wants the best for you but sometimes they can just be um uh, be um wow like not be that way and um well dolly and um you know we can we can hide things from people i can i can hide things from my family i can hide things from my parents i can hide things dolly um from Keith, I can hide things all day long, but I never hide thing, anything from the Lord. And he knows everything. He knows everything about me. He knows everything about Callie. He knows everything about Keith. He knows everything about each and every one of us, and he still loves us. Isn't that amazing? And isn't it amazing that he, I mean, he knows our faults and our, Dolly. No. He knows our faults and our failures. He knows, um, you know, everything about us, and he still loves us. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm thankful for that. And I, and that just makes me smile, makes me um, smile on the inside too that God loves me and that and that somebody loves me that much. You know, I'm just, I'm, I'm thankful. So guys, we're gonna be praying. Um, Yes, it does, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, Michelle, I'm sorry. I, um, y'all, I know this ice and stuff is just breaking my heart. We're, we have it on the TV now on the Weather Channel, and it's, and it's you know, the people were sitting outside on their, on their, um, their, um, decks trying to build fires because they said their phone service is out. They'll be right back. Oh goodness. My goodness. It's just, it's, it's sad. I, we want y'all all to know that we're praying for each and every one of y'all that, um, is facing all this winter stuff. It's just, it's just amazing yes. that, um, how it is. And, and, you know, I, it's just, I don't know. It's just devastating. It's just, you know, you, you think about snow and here we get, you know, what Keith, maybe, maybe, maybe six inches at the most, maybe. And, you know, when we think about snow, that's what we think of. We don't ever think about, and it's hard for us to like really imagine what it would be to have that much snow and be, um, and ice, because the ice is worse. You know, the ice, the um, snow and the ice together is just terrible. Um, Dawn, absolutely, absolutely. And you know, people will let us down. Um, family will let us down. Friends will let us down. Um, our spouses will let us down. Our kids will let us down, but God never lets us down. And he's always there no matter what. And it's just amazing um, to me. And um, there's a song that, um, the, uh, a, another song that came to mind, it's, it, it says, I'll always, the Lord is saying, I'll always patch things up. I'll always give you love when your wor world is um, f uh, fell apart. Um, I'll wash away your sins um, and mend your broken heart. And then in there it says, I wonder what I would do if, if I woke up one day and he starts saying he's not going to do that. And, um, and I've often wondered that, you know, it, God can, um, he could do that. He could easily say, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to patch things up. I'm not going to put you back together again. I'm not going to heal your your broken heart, but he does. And um even though, you know, I fail him every day, he does that for me and it's it's amazing. Um <sighs> It is so sad, y'all. Oh, Miss Debbie wants to see your shirt, Callie. Can you show her your shirt? It has a 
It says, stay golden. And it has a golden doodle on it. You guys, this is breaking my heart. I know it. It is. It's just so sad. Ugh, I wonder why this has to happen. Prayers for my brother that lives in Texas. Absolutely. We have a lot of followers in Texas. A lot. I am absolutely tired. Like, wore out. But I still wanted to come on live. Are you tired? Yes. Misha, absolutely sweet girl. You just, you just cling to the Lord. Don't let that depression take over your mind. You, When you start feeling yourself get into a depression and you feel like that you're getting into, um, into a dark place, get your Bible out and read your Bible and, and call on the name of Jesus. And, and he'll help you. He'll bring you out of that. I know he can. Um, you know, um, we were saying the other day, there's a lot of people going through a lot of things and that we don't even understand and and we don't even comprehend what they're going through and i can't say that i mean i've i've felt myself sometimes trying to slip into a depression but i've never i don't think i've ever like been in a in a in a like a a total state of depression but um you know that doesn't mean i can't but um I know people that are very dear to my heart that has and that has struggled with it uh, my entire life. Um, and I know that God can help you. And I want you to promise me that you are going to, when you feel like that you are slipping into that um, dark place, that you get your Bible out, read your Bible, and... and um, and, you know, I, I heard a preacher preach one time that, you know, sometimes we get to a point to where, you know, we don't know what to pray and we just say, Lord, help me. And then you just, you, you get to the point to where all you can say is, Lord, you know, God knows our heart. He knows what we're going through. And Misha, he knows what you're going through and he knows um, what is making you depressed and what is burdening you down. So you give all that to him and um and just beg him to help you and 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 give your life to him and i promise you that he can help you and um and you just be willing to do what he wants you to do and he'll help you get out of that state of mind misha i'm here for you sweet girl if you ever need me you call me or just um or or message me i love you girl and i know you've been through a whole lot in your short little life um that um a lot of us don't even know and um and i know that you know with what happened to you not too long ago um shouldn't have happened to you and and i'm praying for you and praying for your sweet little family so you if you need me anytime i'm here we love you girl look at um, dolly you guys yeah <laughs> dolly's tired um Cheryl, there's a there. You know, God can help you with that. God can take that away. He can control. He can ease that anxiety. He can he can take away that depression, and um and we just got to be. We just got to give it to him, and 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 you know. When you give it to him, and like I've said, like a long time ago, we talked about this, and 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 things that in our life that are um, that we struggle with. You know, we have to give it to God. We have to give it to Him, lay it at the altar, give it to Him, and then don't pick it back up when we walk off. And 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 we're human and we're going to. We're going to, you know, think about that thing again or we're going to try, you know, it's going to be hard because the devil's going to fight. The devil don't want you to get out of that depression. He don't want you to give up something that's hindering you to be what you need to be for the Lord. He he's gonna fight and he's gonna he's gonna try his best to defeat you, but don't let him. And you know it, the thing is 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 whenever we whenever we lay that whatever it is the anxiety the depression whatever it is that we give to the Lord, when we get back up and we and we start to live our life after we've gave it to the Lord then, you know, that devil's going to bring it up. He's going to say, oh, you know, you're depressed. You're not worth anything. You're not da-da-da-da-da. Well, yeah, you are. And then you just need to say, um, 
you just need to say, leave me alone. God's got this. And just and and just trust in the Lord that God that He's gonna take that away and He's gonna help you and give you strength to go through it. Don't let that devil defeat you. Absolutely, Robert. That's exactly right. As, Chris, that's exactly right. Absolutely. That's exactly right, Francine. Absolutely. Paulette, I think we all are to an extent. I think we all do that. I think that we all, because we're human, I mean, we're going to do that. We're going to, you know, things that we worry about, you know, the it, it says give it to me and don't, you know, just don't worry about it. You know, worry steals our joy and steals our, our um, happiness and, and, but we're human and we're going to do that. But I think whenever, and God understands that, and I think that whenever we, um, whenever we do start worrying about whatever it is that we laid at the feet of Jesus, I think that God is just, is just standing there saying, it's okay. I got it. I told you I got it. And, and then, you know, we just have to remember to just, just, just like you say, just say Jesus, just remember that he's got it. He, he's got it and he's going to take care of it. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, Melissa, it's okay. Um, guys, I know there's so many of you that's going through things and going through um, um, anxiety and depression and loneliness and grieving, and there's just so much um, stuff that's going on. And I, I, I promise you, I promise you, that our family prays for y'all every day. And I pray that you just have the courage and the strength to give it to the Lord and to let the Lord take control of that. Give your life to the Lord. And I mean, if I could, if I could, oh, if I could just say it and, and, and for you to really believe what I'm saying that giving your life to the Lord is the best thing that you will ever do in your entire life. And letting God help you with that. There's, you know, there's a lot of people that say that they can do this and they can do that and they can, they can help you with this and they can help you with that. But God is the only one that can take it all away and help you, um, fight it and get over it and, and overcome it. And, um, and then you know what, with your testimony, you can help somebody else. Um, I just, you know, I just, I just wish that there was some way that I could just, you know, help you all understand if you just give it to the Lord, how, how he can take it all away and he can help you. Um, you should see all the Just trust kids. in Him. Just trust and give your life to Him and trust in Him. Um, absolutely, Melissa. Best decision ever, ever in your life that you will ever make is to give your life to the Lord. Um, guys, I love y'all. And remember that we are praying for each and every one of y'all every day. I know that sometimes... You know, you just say, pray for me, or and, and then sometimes you tell us the circumstances in your life. But, you know, you don't always have to tell us the circumstances that you want us to pray about. God already knows what you're going through. She is quiet tonight. Um, she's been talking all the way home, though. That's why she's quiet right I'm now. Really she's been tired. talking. Um, um, but, um, but God already knows what you're going through. Oh, goodness. Joy. And when we pray for y'all, we pray for you daily, absolutely every day. And we thank God for each and every one of y'all um, for being in our life and and spending time with us every night. It just blesses our heart. Um, we love you guys. Um, thank y'all for being on here. Sorry it was a little crazy tonight. Thank y'all for spending time with Callie as I drove back home. 
and somebody asked why we have our have our coats on. It's because we're freezing. Yeah, we're freezing. Well, we have we just came in from outside, so that's why we have our coats on. We came in um, and from Amanda's house, and uh, Callie got to talk all the way home, so I think that wore her out talking all the way home. So we love you guys. Thank you for being on here. We'll be back tomorrow night for another daily dose of True, True Love. love. We love you guys, and um, remember to uplift and encourage each other, and to pray for each other. And I know y'all do. I know that all of the all of y'all on here pray for each and every one of y'all. Um, you all pray for each other, and you pray for us, and we we so appreciate it, and we love you guys so much. And y'all have a good night. Stay, please stay warm and stay safe. We're praying for all the people in the paths of all these storms. These. Um, winter storms it just breaks my heart and if we can help with anything or do anything i wish we lived closer that we could help y'all um but if know I that we're fly on an airplane to come help y'all no, no, no. i know I it um but if y'all let us um <laughs> dolly's watching tv oh but know that we are praying for y'all we love you guys <laughs> Yes, Joey. Callie had a slaw dog tonight. Thank you, Michelle, for telling him. I did just for you because I was like, okay, I, maybe I should have a slaw dog. So just for you. Oh, I Joey, have, I love you, Miss Callie. I love you. Thank you so much for asking me to be your Valentine. Um, you don't know how much that meant for me. So if there is anything I can do to repay you, rather oh. that is chatting with you online oh. or something Please maybe we can do that know. maybe we can do that sometime do y'all yeah. know callie tell them tonight uh, amanda ran out of hot dog buns and <laughs> callie ate a I hot ate dog a hamburger so she had a bun. ham dog <laughs> 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 she ate a hot dog in a hamburger bun so she had a ham dog <laughs> mm -hmm. i had a ham dog Wait, what's a ham dog? Ham Hamburger bun, bun with a dog. dog. Hot dog. Hey! Or ham we're hot. Gonna, we're going to have ham dogs. Yes. We love you guys. Thank y'all so much. We will see you next. Um, I want to see you next. I don't even know what I'm saying. No, we're not going to see them next week. We'll see them in 24 yes. hours. We will see you tomorrow night for another daily dose of true love. Love you guys. You guys remember to spread that true love because it because it's all we need. Right? All you need is love. That's exactly right. Spread your love. Encourage each other and pray for each other. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.